hi everyone i'm soumya and uh, in this video tutorial i'm going to make a mixed media art canvas and it's titled teacups it's a beautiful shabby chic project and without further ado let's get started with it i took a blank square canvas and i coated it with a coat of gesso gesso makes your canvas stronger and it holds your paints better now i'm pasting a shabby chic floral papers on the canvas to make it a to make it into a paper collage kind of a thing so um for this purpose i am mostly using papers from stamparia but you don't necessarily have to use these papers you can use whatever papers you have at your home or if you absolutely have to replicate this this project then you can um find the link to stamparia papers in the description box when you're sticking papers on the canvas uh, don't forget the sides You can use any glue or mod podge for sticking papers on the canvas. I'm using mod podge here.
after pasting uh, so many papers on the canvas i now want to bring the design of the canvas together so it's kind of scattered at the moment i want everything to blend in so i'm using a stencil and applying modeling paste i always feel that when i apply modeling paste to any project it brings the design together it blends the entire thing entire artwork so that is one reason why i love applying modeling paste and it also gives texture obviously so that's one reason too now to um, apply modeling paste you can use any stencil whichever stencil you have in your stash you can use it this is a stencil i got from somewhere but i don't remember from where now ideally you should wait for some time after applying modeling paste to your project because it takes some time to dry but i was too excited to see how it comes out to be so i did not wait i went ahead and i pasted a doily from dollar tree um at the center of the canvas dollar tree carries packets of doilies and there are a lot of doilies in one packet so one dollar and 25 cents i got a lot of a bunch of doilies to make my projects with now the centerpiece of this canvas i want it to uh be stacked teacups so i first thought of pasting a disposable paper cup just as is but then it wasn't looking so good so i cut it i cut it in a way that uh it is almost half of what it was before i cut it from the center now to cover the teacups um uh, i mean my disposable glasses i want to make them into floral teacups like very shabby chic style so i applied mod podge you can apply any glue anything is fine for this and i'm covering these uh, disposable cups with really cute and shabby chic papers whenever i run out of patience i start using hot glue gun so i use hot glue gun to stick paper on the cup whatever ends were not sticking i just stick them with hot glue gun first i covered the disposable cup with this uh, beige paper but i then thought i should paste a different paper on that cup because it wasn't popping enough for me although i hot glued it to the canvas I put some scraps of paper rolled together inside the cup so that it gets some volume and it doesn't bulge when uh, when it's pressed or you know it is sturdy enough for the canvas so I stuffed it with some papers See here I'm covering the cup with another paper because i did not really like the print of the first paper that i used For these little parts that you cannot see in camera, I'm just covering 
the disposable cups with different papers. The order in which I have cut it, I have pasted the largest cup, I mean the longest one at the bottom and then little ones, smaller ones inside stacked. Now with the rear end of the disposable paper cup which is a bit thicker than rest of the cup I am making a handle of the cup to make it look more like a teacup. I hot glued the handle on the cup. Now I tried to make handles of all the cups but it didn't work out. Now here I am trying to create a saucer for my cup but I did not make it eventually because it wasn't fitting. I am now applying some more modeling paste. Uh, wherever I feel I can I don't want to cover the design so much now with my paint brush I'm applying golden paint on the rims of the cups because I don't want them to appear as if they are disposable cups I want them to look that yeah they are porcelain cups so I'm painting them golden but I did a mistake here so I pasted paper with Mod Podge as glue and Mod Podge uh, sometimes it resists paint 
so you can see here that the paint is not coming out too perfect I had a few paper cutouts I got them from Aliexpress uh, it is really not important for you to paste any sticker like this on your project but if you really want to you can find this kind of stuff on Aliexpress I'll try to find the link of these stickers and provide them in the description box I was trying to fit random embellishments um, wherever they fit this magic chipboard that you see here it is from Dollar Tree I'm pasting it here because I think it goes well with the theme it's magical magically beautiful basically <laughs> I'm painting it with golden paint these corners these are stickers and these are also from Dollar Tree these are I think they are thick paper or yeah I don't think they're plastic they are, I think they're thick paper and I'm pasting them and then painting them golden just like the painted magic word now I'll be sticking some paper flowers these paper flowers are from Etsy.com I think the best way to paste paper flowers to any canvas or any any project it is to hot glue the flowers these four greens were already in my stash probably they are from Dollar Tree. I'm cutting the stems out of the flowers. The pearl string that you see here is also from Amazon and I'm going to list it in the description box for you. This butterfly embellishment I made it myself and I did it on the first video 
which I made on this channel. So I will be providing the link of this uh, video in the description box so that you can make your own butterfly embellishments. This rub-on transverse sticker is again from Dollar Tree. I thought this would look nice here on the canvas and it will fill up the space appropriately. It says everyday miracles which is sweet. I'm trying to find a spot where it can fit and uh, it doesn't come over the textured part of the canvas and I found it and I'm just rubbing the sticker with the back of my paint brush so that it is transferred and I don't mind if it is not perfectly transferred because that is the concept of shabby chic it's shabby and chic so you know it just adds more character to the project I feel This Cherish sticker right here is again from Dollar Tree and I think they have a pretty decent collection of stickers these days which are not just for kids. I sprinkled some glitter on my project. It always adds beauty I feel and I painted it golden the sticker. Adding a little bit of gold paint to the flowers but that step is totally optional. I am again stuffing the cup with some paper so that it doesn't bulge when it is pressed or you know when accidentally so I just want it to have some substance from inside so I'm stuffing it with paper and why I painted it uh, golden the inside stuffed paper that's because I want if somebody sees it they should think that it's tea <laughs> and not just random stuffed papers to add a bit of finishing touches to the corners I mean the sides of the canvas I'm again using my stencil a different stencil and I'm applying modeling paste to the sides as well And see how gorgeous it has turned out to be. If you like my video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, please share it with your friends as well if you liked it. And I'll be back with more interesting crafts for you. Till then, happy crafting!